What is finite element analysis? Finite element analysis is the process of breaking complex problems down into smaller chunks or finite elements so that they are easier to solve. This allows systems that can be represented by equations to be simulated and solved using a computer. When dealing with electromagnetic problems, FEMM is one useful tool that can be used for simulation. Now simulation is useful because it allows you to design and test things before they are built so that they can be optimized from the start. Now when we use any finite element software there are a number of common steps that we need to take. First we need to understand the problem we are trying to solve, simulate and how it works. This usually happens on paper. Then we need to think about how we can use mirroring, symmetries, etc. to simplify the problem for use in the computer. This is really used to speed up things so that the computer does not take very long, which happens when you have big complex problems. After that, we need to know the type of physics and equations that relate to the problem. What the geometry looks like, what materials are being used, what the inputs to the physics equations will be, and how we will break the problem down into smaller chunks. We will then let the computer solve the problem and output some general result. We need to know what is important to us so that we can make use of the general result to get a specific answer. So let's use an example as a way of understanding how we can use finite element software to solve real life problems. A good example is a linear electromagnetic device. So let us first understand how the problem will work on paper. This means drawing the geometry out with information such as the dimensions, the materials being used. We know that this type of problem will be a magnetics problem which is the, the physics that we will select. We know what the geometry looks like and let's say the material is M50 steel and we know the currents and the number of turns that we will use for our equations. In terms of simplification we'll use the 2D representation of this geometry and the computer or the software will infer the 3D geometry. Based on this information, let us go ahead and use FEMM to solve our problem. Now we download FEMM's installer from its website. Then we proceed to the download page to choose which installer to select depending on our computer. We then run that installer and make the necessary selections until it is installed on our machines. After it is installed, we open up the application. We can then select a new problem, a magnetics problem. This will lead us to the preprocessor page, which allows us to input all the data that we need to have selected. We can use the tools on the top toolbar to draw our geometry. Now, a critical point to keep in mind, particularly with FEMM when drawing geometry, is that left click is to place nodes and right click is to select nodes. Similarly, selecting lines and arcs is also done with the right click, while creating them is done with the left click. Now we can begin placing nodes to place nodes accurately, it is useful to use precise coordinates by pressing the tab key on the keyboard. We can use the copy and cut tools to move the geometry appropriately. After having defined the geometry, we will need to assign materials and properties. We do this by selecting block labels from the toolbar, the green circle, and placing labels in each geometrical area. We then 
need to select the material and circuit properties we would like to assign, such as air and M50 steel and copper for the wire. We will also need to define a circuit for the copper wire turns. After having input all the relevant information and assigned the relevant properties, we can let the program or solver process this information. Depending on the complexity of the problem, a computer might take some time to process this information. Now, a mistake that is made quite often is not assigning the correct boundary conditions. So, sometimes you need to refer back to the preprocessor page and create boundaries which essentially sets the area limitation for the software to only solve the problem within that area and exclude any information outside that area. After the solver has completed its operation, we switch to the post processor and can find the results we are interested in. So in the case of this example, let's say we are interested in the force that will be exerted on the rectangular block. After selecting the block and integrating with for the appropriate quantity, the result will be displayed. Now let's review what we did. We first got an idea of what the problem was without using the computer. Then we looked at the geometry and how it could be simplified with symmetries. After that, we assigned properties ranging from physics to materials. We then let the computer process this information. Finally, we honed into the results we were interested in and saw that display. These general guidelines can also be applied to other finite element packages and highlight the importance of understanding the problem before working on the computer program. Now that you have an idea of FEMM and FEA, best of luck with your future simulations.